We made a list of the best Tyler Hines Hallmark movies for you. So here's our list of Tyler Hines best Hallmark movies. Number 10, The Mistletoe Secret. This film takes place in Midway, Utah, which is a fairly different location for Hallmark, buttes and whatnot. After the usual establishing shots, we arrive at the Mistletoe Diner, a restaurant that I assume is open all year round, despite the incredibly seasonal name. Kelly Pickler and her deep southern accent run the joint. She's in the middle of setting things up for a special gathering when her father, Patrick Duffy, walks in. Duffy tries to match her southern sound by occasionally referring to Pickler's mother as mama. That's the extent of his attempt. Kelly Don Pickler is an American country singer, songwriter, and television personality. I always wanted one of these. And here, I thought you were a real contender. What do you mean? You know, the ugly Christmas sweater stamp. It can't just be bought, you gotta earn it too. Number 9. My Boyfriend's Back, Wedding March 5 Mick and Olivia are back, and their relationship is better than ever. Jack Wagner and Josie Bissett reprise the roles they played in four previous installments, and their characters are ready to celebrate an important milestone, the 25th anniversary of their first date. But those plans aren't without hijinks, and it's far from a drama-free time at the end. Wedding planner Annalise, played by Cindy Busby, wants to use a wedding at the inn to woo investors for her own company. But the best man of the ceremony turns out to be her ex-boyfriend Brad, played by Tyler Hines. Can Mick and Olivia help those two find their way back to each other? Uh, Don't say it. I wasn't even thinking it. <laughs> Number 8. Flip That Romance Rival house flippers Jules Briggs, played by Julie Gonzalo, and Lance Waddell, played by Tyler Hines, renovate dual sides of a duplex and rekindle an old romance. Like most of Hallmark movies, Flip That Romance was filmed in Canada. IMDb lists Vancouver and British Columbia as the filming locations. The movie was filmed in early February. A specific location for filming was Sydney, where they filmed in and around the farmer's daughter on Beacon Avenue. Sydney by the Sea Shared. The farmer's daughter is a fromagerie in Wine Bar near Victoria, BC. We go head to head, may the best flip win. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Good. Number 7, Falling For You. The protagonist of the Hallmark Channel movie, Falling For You, is a local radio personality, Lacey Hathaway, played by Taylor Cole. Desperate to save her small New England town radio station in Pleasant Valley, she organizes a bachelor baking fundraiser. While picking apples at a local farm, Lacey persuades the new handsome stranger in town, Zach Malone, played by Tyler Hines, of participating. Falling For You was not filmed in New England. Like many Hallmark movies, it was shot in British Columbia in Canada. The town of Squamish was the setting for Falling For You, which is home to many apple orchards. It's also where Hallmark Channel's Aurora Tea Garden Mystery Series starring Candace Cameron Bure is filmed. I think that's true. I think you are. You are the heart of this community. Number 6. It's Christmas Eve. Leanne Rimes is making her Hallmark movie debut. The country artist is starring in the brand new film. It's Christmas Eve, the snowy scenes, quaint main street, and charming neighborhoods might inspire you to pack your bags and search for a romantic adventure of your own. And we know exactly where you should go to find it. Although the movie takes place in Franklin, Pennsylvania, which is a real city by the way, it was actually shot in Maple Ridge, Canada, and Chilliwack, Canada, according to Hallmark and Fraser Valley News Network. Yeah, you're the interim school superintendent. Okay. Can I talk to you for a second? Sure. Number 5. Roadhouse Romance Hallmark's Roadhouse Romance stars Tyler Hines and Lauren Elena in the lead roles. This is a cute romance that was released on September 11, 2021. Elena, who plays the role of Lieutenant Kelly Jackson, has been serving the nation on her two-year duty tour. When she returns back, she realizes that a lot has changed. This is her first visit after her grandfather's death, who is the owner of Tucker's Roadhouse. This place is known for its barbecue, great music, and ambience. When Kelly was away from home, her mother lost Tucker's secret barbecue recipe. Kelly now helps her family with the preparations for the fall festival. Success can be your servant or your master. Tucker's got all the good lines, my goodness. Number 4. Sweet Carolina 
Sweet Carolina is the story of Josie, a marketing executive from New York who learns that her beloved sister and brother-in-law were killed in an accident. She rushes home to New Hope, North Carolina to be with her family. Josie learns that she's been granted custody of her sister's kids, which sends the family into turmoil, as Josie's parents argue that they should be the ones to keep the kids in New Hope, where they grew up, rather than go back to New York. Josie runs into her former high school boyfriend Cooper, played by Tyler Hines, who coaches the kids in basketball. Together, they find a way to work through their grief as Josie decides whether or not she's ready to become a mother. Number 3. Winter in Vale Winter in Vale is a 2020 American made-for-television romance film directed by Terry Ingram, starring Lacey Chabert and Tyler Hines. The film is a Hallmark Channel original movie, first in Hallmark's 2020 Winterfest film series, preceding Love in Winterland, Love on Iceland, Amazing Winter Romance, and Hearts of Winter. It premiered on January 4, 2020. Chelsea Whitmore, played by Lacey Chabert, is a Los Angeles-based event planner who, after missing out yet again on an anticipated vice president promotion, decides to quit her job and move to Vail, Colorado. Here, she recently inherited the chalet of her late Uncle Grady, who until his death was a well-respected pastry chef famous for his apple strudel recipe. Chelsea was the one very close with him, but lost contact after her career took off. She decides to stay in town temporarily while finding her next career step. Number 2. It Was Always You Together for the first time, the two star in Hallmark Channel's newest original movie, It Was Always You. Elizabeth, played by Arian Krako, has an engagement party plan, and they're thrown in disarray when her fiancé, played by Gals Panton, is caught on the other side of town and across an impassable bridge while she's trying to finalize last-minute details. Having her fiancé's brother, David, played by Tyler Hines around, doesn't help matters. With a party looming and a million things to do, David steps in to help, but his carefree ways and unexpected influence cause Elizabeth to question her life decisions. Number 1. On the 12th date of Christmas Mallory Jansen from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Tyler Hines from the Hallmark's The Mistletoe Secret star as Jennifer and Aiden, a pair of Chicago-based game developers, not video games, but scavenger hunts, who are tasked with a major assignment. They have to come up with the most epic and romantic hunt to drive locals to the grand opening of a newly renovated historic hotel. What movie did you like best? What movie was missing on our list for you? Tell us in the comments! For our biggest fans, consider becoming a member for bonus perks and access. Don't forget to check out our merch store for the perfect binge-watching apparel. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We put out new videos like this one every week. We'll see you for our next video. Thanks for watching.